Welcome to 100 Yards of Football. It's my special segment that I started today. Kudos to all the great football players that were college football Americans of the past. If you like the video today, please come and share it. I'm your host, Vincent Turner. And today, when you talk about this great game of college football, there's been so many great players from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. But this gentleman right here is kind of dear to my heart. And he stepped on the campus in 1965 at SMU University as the first black football player that's ever played in the Southwest Conference. Mr. Hubert Johnson came, I like two weeks, two weeks later as he signed with Baylor University. But what Jerry Levias did for college football in the Southwest Conference cannot even hold a candle to what he did for the state of Texas and black football players in general. He came out of Beaumont, Texas, a very strong area back in that time. It's had a lot of great football players. Beaumont, Bubble Smith at that time, Michigan State, Mel Farr at UCLA, Vance Befford, who went on to Texas during the time I was at Arkansas, Jerry Ball, they played in the 80s with SMU, Larry Graham, the great musician that played in Sly and the Family Stone in the late 1960s, early 70s, one of the best bass players ever, Kendrick Perkins, who you've not seen his face on NBA TV, it's out of the area of Beaumont, Texas. And it's got to be some in the water. But the gentleman that started it all, for all those great gentlemen, and including Mr. Bubba Smith and including Mr. Mel Fodd during that time in the 60s, it's got to be this guy right here, Jerry Levitas. He changed the culture of college football in the Southwest Conference. And when you look at his story out of Hubert High School, Herbert High School, excuse me, it's special. He had over 100 scholarship offers when he came out of high school. But the thing that's ironic to me, he was not recruited by any black school. Not Grambling, not Preview, not Texas Southern, because they say he was too small. At the time, they say he was 5'7", 140 pounds. But I got to give love to Hayden Fry. Bless your soul, coach. You took a chance on the young man. I brought him into a university that was very, very difficult at the time and where our nation was. And remember, I was only five years old when Jerry Levine signed with SMU. But he started playing football in 1966 at SMU. That first team he was on went to the Cotton Bowl and lost to a very fine Georgia team. His junior year, they went three and seven. Then his final year, he caught the winning touchdown pass in the 1968 Astro Blue Butter Bowl against Oklahoma. They had Steve Owens, Chuck Fairbanks as a coach. They had a pretty good wide receiver in Eddie Hinton. But what I like about him, I'm talk about his career. He was a consensus All-American, academic All-American. He finished SMU with 155 receptions for 2,275 2, yards and 22 touchdowns. But what he done, he was the only black football player on that team. And he went through, as he said in one of his articles that's been that's been printed on him, that's out there among the press on social media, it was living hell. And I think about this at that time. I was on the guidance of Chester Knight and S. Turner. They was raising me right. My parents in Memphis, Tennessee, the 901. But I think about Jerry Levias Jerry Levi going on the field and experiencing things like the N-word, being called a monkey. And most of all, being by himself. But the tone that he set, he made it possible for other great players to play in the Southwest Conference. And as you look at his graphic there, the number 23, his grandmama picked that number out for him because it was Psalms 23. The Lord is, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When you're talking about people that paid the way, not on the football field, but also in the entertainment world, also in athletes going ahead and getting their career and making money. After y'all watch this video today, y'all got to give love to Jerry Levias, man. He made it possible. 
for all the African-American players to come through the Southwest Conference and on the national level. And what he went through at SMU was just, hey, man, that's what warriors are made of. And that's what a special people are made of. And that's what people of greatness are made of. I'm proud to say that I'm in honor and love for Mr. Jerry Levias, SMU's finest. And also he had a decent career with the Houston Oilers. But if I take anything away from Jerry Levias today, it was, hey man, to be a special football player or even a person to make a difference in America or anywhere, you got to stand up and be a man, man. You got to stand up for the love of your people. And that guy went through a lot of stuff at SMU. And he made the way for all the other great football players that have followed him and made the doors possible for them to walk through. Raymond Claiborne, Texas. Roosevelt Leakes, Texas. Earl Campbell, Texas. Vince Young, Texas. Jerry Eckwood, Arkansas. Dennis Winston, Arkansas, Harvey Hampton, Arkansas, Baylor University, Walter Omnicrumney, Mike Singletary, Thomas Everett, TCU Kenneth Davis, SMU, Jerry Ball, Harvey Armstrong, Wes Hopkins, the great Eric Dickerson, Rice University, Dale Grant, Texas Tech, Ted Watts, guns up. The Houston Cougars, D.C. Nobles, Brian Wynn, Arby McMullen. When I leave today and I end with my final words about Jerry Levias and all those great black players I just mentioned, and to all the players that's played college football, black players from Billy Sims, man, y'all need to look at Jerry Levias' story. And when you come away and read about them, do your research on them. That man out of Beaumont, Texas is going to make you cry. He's going to make you proud. He's going to make you honored. Because what he went through at SMU University from 1965 to 1968 is one that we really need to look at seriously. So my final words about the young man that played football at Southern Methodist in the town of Dallas, Texas. These are the words that I'm going to take to my grave. And I just turned 61 this past Saturday, July 17. Final words about Jerry Levias. God granted me the scenario to accept the things that I cannot change. The courage to change those that I can and the wisdom, listen to what I'm saying, what Jerry Levias said, and the wisdom to know I make a difference in our world today. If you liked the video this morning, please come in and share it. I'm your host, Vincent Turner, and the gentleman that made it possible this morning for me to do this great video on Jerry Levias, SMU's finest, is my man, the best producer in all of social media. He's got his college video, football videos coming up today, later on. My man, Mr. Logan Landis, thank you this morning. And to the football world and the college football world, we should pay homage to this young man right here, Jerry Levias, out of Beaumont, Texas, Herbert High School. Thank you, man. You made a difference in college football. You made a difference in my life. And talk about these great teams, these great players. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful day here on 100 Yards Football. And to my man, Jay Levias, Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Y'all be blessed.